Alright guys, welcome to my tutorial. These are a few supplies you're gonna need. Of course, the HD clear tape, exacto knife, and a finished wallet. It's a close up. So, first thing you're gonna do is just gonna place your wallet on your mat, lining it up wherever you want. I'm taking a piece of tape, and then you're just gonna place it maybe about a centimeter off the edge. Just gonna line it up and then you're just gonna cut stick the tape down you're gonna cut half inch below the bottom and half inch above the top of the wallet and then you're gonna just start from one end and move your way down all you're doing is just pressing lightly onto the tape well just a light pressure and you're just gonna work from one end to the other to minimize air bubbles and I like to work on the darker areas because darker colors tend to show a lot more bubbles. So I try to get the darker spots out first and then I move my way down. I'm just gonna continue doing this until I notice that the whole tape is applied to the wallet. And then when you're done, you're gonna have flaps on each end. All you're doing is just gonna tuck it inside your wallet. So this is about a 30 minute process, so just make sure you take your time and do it right and try to get all the bubbles out. If you don't, it's fine, because I'll show you guys how to get rid of the remaining bubbles. So now you got the flap on the bottom, and you're just gonna continue the technique. Just gonna start from one end and then move your way up. The whole point of this is to cover every seam because when you sit on your wallet, this, the residue from the tape actually gets pushed out. So the clear tape is gonna protect it, protect it from getting all gunky and linty. So you're just gonna repeat the process. My pockets are three inches and three quarters. So on the outside of the wallet, you make sure you don't pass three and three quarters inches. I'm just gonna repeat the process. You're just gonna apply a tape, line it up. Cut half inch off one end and then a half inch on the other and then start from one end and then slowly move um, to the other side. Uh, I use my finger because a card, if I, I used a card before and it tends to scratch the clear tape so with your finger it's gentle enough to not uh, create any scratches on, your, on the tape. This is gonna make your wallet last 10 times longer, clear taping all the seams and your designs. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm just gonna fast forward it. I believe this is about 400 times faster than what it really is. It took, uh, like I said, it was about 30 minutes to do, so I'm just gonna fast forward it right there and folding over. I just wanna say thank you, Allison, again for allowing me to post on your channel. And if you guys are interested in seeing, you know, other tutorials that uh, in the future on my channel, you guys can definitely subscribe. I'll put a link down below. I'm finishing up the outside of the wallet. So it should look like this when you're done. There's still a few bubbles, but I'll show you how to get rid of them at the end. So now I'm just gonna place uh, clear tape onto the board and I'm lining it up with my wallet and I'm going to cut about maybe about a two inch strip. Right now I'm going to cover up the signature. I'm going to make the tape a little bit shorter. I'm going to do the same process but with the pockets on the inside. So I'm going to line it up where the last tape was at and I'm going to place it on the pocket. So it should look like that, and you should have a little flap on top, and that flap you're also gonna fold it inside to your pocket. I'm gonna do the same technique, work one end, move my way up. Hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial so far. So it should look like this, and I'm just gonna fold that little flap in.
should look like that. Now, if you don't have a signature or any type of design in the corner, then obviously you're not going to cut out of a two inch piece. You're just going to cut out a piece that is a half inch wide. So now what I'm doing is I'm cutting three pieces that are inch long and a half inch wide and I'm sticking them inside to cover up the seam there. Same thing, I'm gonna fold it inside. And by doing that, folding it inside, it helps out the clear tape. Well, it protects the clear tape from falling off and uh, just creating a seamless look. So now I'm gonna do it at the other the third pocket, folding it in. Now I'm gonna take my last piece. So this is gonna, like I said earlier, gonna protect your seams from getting gunky, dirty, and all that ugly stuff. So now I'm just gonna repeat the process on the other side. Cut out three pieces that are inch long by half inch wide just placing them on the seams as close to the edge as possible and then just folding it in and now on this side my signature is a little bit bigger so I'm going to cut out uh, it looks like about a three inch piece lining it up with my pocket so I know where to cut. And then I'm going to cut up a little bit off the top because it's too long. Place it as close to the edge as possible. I'm just going to apply the pressure and slowly move up. And then just fold in, folding in the remaining flap. So that's it, there you have it. Your wallet is now clear taped and protected from all the outside elements from your pocket, all the lint, the dirt, and so forth. And all you do next is place a heavy book over it for about 24 hours. After that, your wallet should look like this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.